Now let's consider loops in C sharp. Let's imagine that our player has collected some power-ups in the level and these power-ups give us the ability to fire multiple bullets from our gun at the same time. So whereas previously in each shot we fired one bullet, we can now fire three at the same time. Now to do this I'm going to jump back to mono develop and you can see we have our instantiate line with the ammo reduction line and this represents one fire from the weapon. We could of course press Control C to copy these lines and insert some lines below and press Control V to duplicate them and this now will fire the weapon three times. Let's press Control S on the keyboard and minimize mono develop. Press play on the toolbar and now for each fire notice in the panel here the object inspector that we are firing three shots from our weapon. So I press, uh, I set that to 10, I press space bar and it's reducing by three each time because each press represents three shots. Let's return to mono develop. This copy and paste routine works fine but it's rather tedious to do it three times and in fact if we wanted to fire 20 or 25 shots we would have to then copy and paste that number of times. This can be very tedious and you know, can soon get out of hand. It can soon lead to our source files, the script files here, becoming very very long. Instead we can save ourselves a lot of work by using loops. Let me just delete these two duplicate lines here and there are many different kinds of loops that we can use but the key ingredient of loops is that it repeatedly performs the same behavior. For this instance I'm going to use what is known as a for loop and show you how that works to repeat code. So let's add a for loop. To do this I'm going to insert a new line above the instantiate and the ammo lines. Now the syntax for the for loop may at first sight appear rather peculiar but I'm going to write it out in full first and then explain to you what it does. So let's create the for loop. I'm going to type for and then int i equals zero i less than three i plus plus and then create an opening brace and a closing brace and indent this code between the for loop. This for loop now applies to only the code between the, uh, the opening and closing braces which includes this code. It is only this code that will be repeated. So how does the for loop work? Well it begins by saying okay the loop starts here. We create a variable and this variable is called i. Now we could call this variable anything we wanted but I have chosen I because I is very common when using loops and it stands for iterator. So I begins at the value of zero and then the loop proceeds. So this line of code is executed, the instantiate line and then the ammo line. Then we reach the closing brace here and at this stage the loop turns around back to the beginning of the loop again and what happens at this point is the variable i is incremented. That means that we add 1 to it. So at this stage i is no longer 0 but it becomes 1. Then we perform a check. i is less than 3. Is the value of i less than the number 3? It is. And because it is then we proceed with the loop again. So these two lines are executed for a second time. So then we reach the end of the loop and go back around to here and we add 1 to i again. This time i is no longer 1 but it is 2 and we check here again is the variable i, is it less than 3? Well it's 2 so yes vari the variable i is less than 3 and we perform this code for a third time and then we reach the end of the loop, go back to the beginning and this time i becomes 3 and we check is i less than 3 and the answer to that question, the answer to that yes, no, true, false question is no, i is not less than 3 because it is equal to 3 and so at this point the loop is now ignored 
and execution resumes at the end of this line and it carries on as normal now that the loop is completed. So this loop will fire our weapon three times. Let's uh, just save these changes, return to the Unity editor, see it compile, everything's working. Now let's press play on the toolbar and fire our weapon and you see seven, four, one, it's reducing by three each time, except this time we had to copy and paste no code at all. We could simply use a for loop to get our work done.